Yep. Okay, bearing with one another. Um, how many of you like to listen to my bridge radio? Any of you? Some of you. Okay. I, I've been listening, and they're doing this kindness challenge this month. And the, the thing is that it is so easy for us to react when somebody wrongs us, or maybe not even show kindness to people that we don't even talk to. I mean, a lot of times we tend to avoid people. How many of you avoid certain people? Huh? Why do we avoid those people? <laughs> because they get on our nerves, right? They're irritating. Do you have anybody that's irritating to you? Huh? Yeah. And, and the thing that I want to do is pr put things in perspective so that our blinded eyes can see what's really happening here. Because I think so many times that we think we're better than other people so that when they wrong us and when they irritate us and do things that really bother us, that we tend to retaliate and try to make life miserable for them because they may make it life miserable for us. Yeah. Now, how many of you would agree with that? That's, that's why we do what we do. How many of you would say that's the right thing to do? No. Okay. So, if you're listening to my bridge review, they've been saying that they, they've been giving some suggestions on what to do, and one of the guys says, you know what? I, I've been thinking about who I can be nice to and, and it came to the point where I have to be nice to myself. You know, the hardest person really to, to have a relationship with is yourself. Now, I've talked about sin before and sin a lot of times people misunderstand what the word sin mean, uh, means. So somebody tell me what the word sin means. Stealing. Oh, you, you can do one of my... <laughs> you've heard me say that before, okay? <laughs> sin is... Most people would say is doing something wrong, doing something bad, doing something against God's will, uh, on and on and on. Stealing. But what Julie just said was missing the mark. It's the definition of sin. Armatia. Everybody say that. Armatia. Armatia. Okay. Some people will add an H to the beginning. Harmatia. But the H is silent. That's so much Greek I know. <laughs> but anyways, Armatia mean, means missing the mark. And exactly what that means is like if you have a target, I should have put a target over there, and there's a thing in the middle, and that's called the bullseye. The bullseye. So if you, and, and you guys up there can see that uh, dartboard, that magnetic dartboard over there, mm -hmm. and there's a little round thing in the middle, that's called the bullseye. bullseye. And, and when you're playing darts, and you throw the dart, and you don't even hit the target, what is, what is that? Error. It's called sin, right? Because you miss your target, your goal is to hit the middle. Well, what if you hit the target, but you're way in the edge? What does that mean? You're sin. Sin, right? Because you miss your goal. Your goal is to get the bullseye. Well, what if you went that close Still sin. to the bullseye? What's that called? Sin. Say, why? You're close. You hit it. You didn't hit it. But that's not your goal. And you see, the thing is that in life, God wants us to be what? Holy. Perfect. Oh. Holy. And, and so, and holy, yeah, holy is, is pure, unblemished. Well, then some of you said, well, you can forget that. Uh, <laughs> I just made how many mistakes this morning, and, 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 and I sinned this morning. I missed the mark. Why try? 
And you see, the thing that I want you to understand is it's not what you do, but what he has already done to make you perfect. And God desires for us to live our lives in striving for perfection because of what he has done already. You see, the thing is that so many times, especially with our friends or people that don't like us, people are quick to point out our failures, right? Yes. Huh? Yes. Have you done that? Have you pointed to somebody and said, naughty, naughty, you know, you did something wrong, and this is what you did wrong? Yeah, I've had people all the time, and I still do have people that tell me, well, you didn't do this right, or whatever. And it kind of brings me down when, when I realize that, yeah, they're right. But what I say is that if you point your finger to somebody, you point three fingers back at you. There's three fingers pointing back at you, right? There's more fingers pointing back at you. So we have all Fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3, what? 3.23? So. For all the sin and fallen short of the glory of God. 6.23, for the wages of sin is, is death. death, but the free gift of God is eternal life yeah. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. So one of the things that you, know, you can do is there's probably people out there that really have rubbed you wrong. And the kindness challenge is to think of something that you can do to bless other people. Some of it says, I mean, I don't like to write cards and stuff like that. So maybe that would really be surprising if somebody gets a card from me. <laughs> that, that's something that I could do to write a card to somebody because they don't really expect it from me especially as a as a kindness gesture how many of you have done something kind this week i know last week somebody brought uh these jars i mean not just those those jars and like mayonnaise bottles and and, and washed out and everything and put this stuff in it but Joyce, thank you. <laughs> I mean, that was a kindness thing, right? Did you have to do that? No, but you did it out of the kindness of your heart. And those are things that can people can do to show kindness to other people. Now, one of the things that Jesus says is, is, is to bless those who persecute you, right? Bless and curse not. And the thing that we tend to do is try to retaliate when somebody does bad things to us, right? Yeah. What does that mean, retaliate? Get back even. Get back, get even with them, right? If you're going to make me hurt, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, Jesus okay. says, right? If someone slaps you Turn the other cheek. on the cheek, Turn the other cheek. No, it's not this cheek, right? The cheek right here. It's if someone whacks you. Turn the other cheek. I remember, I remember when I was in high school, I was up, up in the bleachers. I think we were having a Bible study, and this kid, I think something was wrong with him upstairs, but he came and he just mor motored his punches in my face. And I just sat there and allowed him to hit me. You know what? Later on, he became my friend. There was a couple times when I remember that when I didn't retaliate, it did something to the other person. Where they, it doesn't always happen that way. Don't get me wrong, okay? Because there's sometimes when you can turn the cheek and turn the cheek and turn the cheek and. The guy will still bother you, or the gal who will still attack you. But this is the way people grow up. You understand that? Yeah. There's bullies out there. But you, do you know, understand the, the, the reason why bullies are bullies? 
Because they've been bullied. They've been hurt. And they are acting out of their hurtness to retaliate. Maybe they don't they cannot retaliate to the person that had bullied them. And maybe that bully that bullied him is not even alive anymore today. Because people carry that into their adulthood. Did you know that? Huh? I always say hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. But why do they do that? Because they're dumb. Why do they hold on these grudges? Because they're dumb. Is this word that we've been singing about? What's that song? That, what, what, what have we been singing about anyway? Forgiveness. forgiveness. We think that if we forgive somebody, that we're letting them off the hook. Yes. Isn't that our thinking process? Yes. Yes. But who is the one that really needs the forgiveness that we give? We do. In fact, how many people I've talked to said that, well, you know, I had this bitterness all my life and I finally decided that I need to go and ask for forgiveness. And the other person goes, what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And you know, even if the person has died, you can still forgive them. And the forgiveness is for yourself to not hold that bitterness inside. And one of the things I like to say is that, you know, again, is um, if you have said the Lord's Prayer, everybody has said the Lord's Prayer once at least, right? Mm -hmm. If not more than once. Yeah. Some people do it every week or twice a week. <laughs> We are saying, forgive us our debt. our debt or our trespasses. How? All. Yes, we forgive the us. same way we forgive other people. Okay, okay, God, forgive me the same way I'm forgiving that person that I hate. Oh. Wrong. So, God, you, I, I, you forgive me the same way by hating me because I'm hating him. Wrong. Ooh. Now, how many of you read the scriptures about, you know, the, the Lord's Prayer? Yeah. Jesus, after he gave the model prayer, says, For if you do not forgive other people their sins, Jesus won't forgive you. Your Father in heaven will not forgive you. Ooh! Now I know that, that that's the reason is because, because if... I don't forgive other people. God cannot forgive me. No. That's powerful. Maybe we better start forgiving other people. Right? Yeah. The Apostle Paul says in Colossians, the third chapter, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Oh boy, where'd that come from? <laughs> I think I was supposed to delete that one. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death. Therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature. Now, we tend to blame the devil, right? The devil made me do it. Huh? How many of you said that? Huh? The devil made me do it. We always want to shift the blame that is our responsibility to other people. And it's easy to shift the devil because everybody knows that the devil is trying to bring you down. Anyway. So... Sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is what? Lying. I didn't know that was idolatry. Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? What is idolatry anyway? Um, um, have an idol. Worshiping idol. or giving honor to other things other than who deserves all the honor and praise and glory. Jesus Jesus. So that's what it means is all this bad stuff 
because you are serving your other master, the devil, you're worshiping an idol, Satan. Jesus says no. Ouch. <laughs> because of these, the wrath of God is coming. Now, get this part, okay? You used to walk these ways in the life you once lived. But now you must also rid yourself of all such things as these. Anger. Yeah. <laughs> How many of you are angry sometimes? All of us. Huh? Too many times. All the time. What does anger mean anyway? Nothing. Mad. You get so stirred up and and your blood pressure raises. Yeah. Is that how weird? You know, your 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 mind is telling you one thing and your 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 body is telling you another thing, but it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Huh? And then you you start grinding your teeth and you're and I wish that guy would just die. Oh, Isn't that what we like? Huh? No. Wrong. Rage! What's the difference between anger and rage? Be glad. Uncontrolled rage is uncontrolled anger. Yeah. Uncontrolled anger. So just anger can be okay, right? Because, you know, Jesus says, be angry and do not sin. Let not you know, the sin go down on your anger. No. Malice. Mal is, is the root word for bad, right? Yeah. But evil things, right? Slander, ooh. ooh. Ow. What is slander? Potty mouth. This is sign language for <laughs> gossiping, you know? Gotcha. When you're tearing other people down, why do people tear people down? Your lip. Because they feel worthless, right? And, and to make themselves feel good, they, they, they tear other people down. Like, you know, dog eat dog. If I will tell them how bad they are, then I'll appear to be better. But really, in, a, in reality, what happens is, how many of you like it when people slander you? No. What do you think about that person? Oh, they're great because they're calling me names. <laughs> no. No. That jerk. <laughs> Not and, right. And so you do it back to them, right? It's not right. But but you know, it's really hard when somebody is putting you down to not have these thoughts about, oh, that guy is a he's a fool, he's a whatever name you want to call him, right? But you're doing the same thing back to him. Maybe you're not saying it to him, but that's what's going on in your mind. Yeah. And Paul is saying, get rid of those thoughts. Filthy language from your lips. You know, I got this guy that, that's been coming over and I mean every other, every sentence there's the F word inside. How many of you know people like that, huh? Mm -hmm. but especially those railroaders, right, Julie? <laughs> Julie. Oops. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> no, the thing is that why do people feel necessary to just go a little more than it all as filth come out of their mouth. There's no reason for it. I mean, sometimes I thought, maybe I should just go in front of those guys Wrong. and see what they, how they react to that, if Wrong. they like it or not. Wrong. But Paul says, get rid of all that stuff. Do not lie to each other. How many of you have lied to another person? Oh, that's, uh, you know, you're, somebody asked a question, well, you know, how do I look today? Oh, you are beautiful. <laughs> and you think, well, they, why do you have to ask a question like that? You, you look awful. <laughs> that's lying. Did you know that? Huh? When you're not telling the truth, it's lying. Since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which has been renewed in knowledge of the image of the Creator. 
when we become one with Christ, we are supposed to conform into His image.